Hey folks, welcome back to Wild West Barbecue. Today we've got another uh, different kind of video planned. It's not a cook video. I know I've been doing some of these different videos lately. I apologize for that. This week, uh, due to COVID, I have been unable to get to my grocery store. So I don't have anything, I don't have anything to actually smoke. So we're gonna go uh, a little off script here, do a non-cook video. Um, I'm planning my next cook as a cook video. I should be able to get to the store by then, I'm on an every other week upload schedule, so the next two weeks, I should be able to get back to the store and actually get something to smoke. But uh, until then, we're just gonna have to learn to make do with what we got, which is what we're doing now. So, let's go ahead and get into it. recently purchased a Thermoworks Signals and Billows unit. Uh, they are two separate units. I purchased both. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing videos for, the, for both of those today. If you don't know what those are, the Signals is analogous to the meter or the eye grill. It's a probe system that will connect to your Wi-Fi and uh, via Bluetooth to your phone and let you monitor the temperature of cuts of meat and uh, the interior temperature of your cooker uh, as opposed to just going out and checking your dome thermometer. Now the bellows unit is separate from the signals but it works with the signals. The bellows is useless without signals and bellows is essentially a fan that you plug into the bottom vent on your WSM. You close two of your vents and they have the provide tape to cover the other holes in the one vent you're leaving open You'll plug your billows into there, and it's got a really nifty little uh, hinge system on there to connect in. And you connect the billows to your signals, and you set a temperature, and then the signals will control the billows. The billows is basically just a fan. And uh, based on your ambient temperature from signals, signals will tell the billows to either turn the fan on to stoke the fire and make it hotter, or turn the fan off and basically choke the fire to get colder in your smoker. It's uh, This is an automatic temperature control system. Uh, and I know I said a while back in one of my other videos, I don't have one and I probably wouldn't get one because controlling the fire is part of the fun for me. But uh, it's getting to the point where I, I was wanting to try one. So I went ahead and looked at some of the options and decided to go with signals and billows. So uh, it arrived today. And we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing, and I should be using this on my next cook video here in a few weeks. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. All right, we've got the box here. This is it came from Thermworks. I've got it upside down just because my address is on the other side. Uh, let's go ahead and get this opened up and see what we got. it packaged nicely like that and that is it for everything in here side so here we've got the signal system and I'll pull this out in a minute and look over it and we've got the billows so let's go ahead and get both of these opened up and take a closer look at each one so here's what the packaging for the signals looks like it's uh, it's pretty decent packaging uh, now that said, this does require AC power via this. Now, obviously, AC power is required. I'll have to run this tension cord out to it, which uh, is fine. I expected, I, I knew going in it was going to require that, so it was not a big deal to me to go ahead and run an extension cord out there. Uh, it comes with these little rings that you slip on the end of your probes. There's two of each color in here, four colors. And that way you can tell your probes apart when you're cooking for uh, different foods. That's a pretty heavy duty probe. That's a real long probe, that's interesting. I think I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, it comes with four probes. Uh, it comes with three of these meat probes. And then 
It comes with one ambient temperature probe. As you can tell, there's quite a difference there in the probes. Obviously, the short stubby one is for the ambient temperature. And then we've got the actual unit itself. It's uh, set, uh, set up so you can just set down the countertop or outside. Uh, obviously, we will peel that off. And then it's going to be set with four separate zones, one for each probe. And I would assume if you're not using the probes, that'll simply stay dark. We'll find out. Uh, here is where you plug in your probes, one, two, three, and four, and your power connection is right here. So that is pretty much it for signals. We'll go ahead and here in a little bit, get this powered up and see if we can get it in Wi-Fi. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the billows next. So again, this is packaged pretty nicely. It's, everything's nice and snug in here. So, uh, this is the actual billows unit itself here. Um, it's got some heat resistant foam here. And this is what I was talking about with connecting to the smoker. You've got this little um, horseshoe clip in here. You'll just go ahead and do it like this, stick it in your hole and for the vent and go. It has a silicone cover here. When you are using it, you take this off. That way the fan can pull air in. When you're not using it, you go ahead and put it back on to protect from moisture. You always put it in with the billow side facing up because you've got a connection port right here for power and such and for, to communicate with the signals. So it comes with this little um, adapter here. And what you do is you plug the adapter in here and then it's got a um, port to go to your fan and a uh, port to go to power. I, I am incorrect in this. This gets connected to your signals and then your signals will connect to this, which will then connect back to the billows. We'll get it all figured out once I read the instructions and get going. We've got, uh, of course, a power cable and we got some tape here. This is what you will use to cover your vent holes in the vent you're using. Uh, obviously, the other two vents will simply be closed. So uh, all that said, let's go ahead and get the signals powered up and started up and see if we can get connected to Wi-Fi. I've heard some people have had problems. We're going to find out. All right, we've got the Thermoworks connected to power, uh, the signals, excuse me, connected to power. And to get everything working, we have to use the app on our phone. I've got the pulled up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on to turn signals on. The power button is right here on the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and press that and it's coming on now. So we're going to come in here to the app, go with signals. Uh, I will enable that permission check. Okay. So now it's telling me I need the power on, which it should be. It is. We'll hit next. And it's looking for it. We're going to see if we can find it. Looks like that one right there. Okay, that has been pretty simple so far. And now we have to put this in. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off here and get my stuff put in here. I'll just bring you guys on back once this step is done. Okay, we've got the signals connected to Wi-Fi. It was really, really easy. I'm connected to my signals here in my phone. We've got uh, channel one, two, three, and four here. Obviously there's no probes connected right now, but this is how we'd go and check everything. We can go ahead and come in here and set an alarm for temperature for each and uh, each probe. This here is where that ring I showed you earlier comes in. You put a ring on your probe and go with that. Uh, and you can also monitor things here on the Thermalworks itself. Obviously we've got channels for each probe here. Uh, now this Wi-Fi symbol up here shows we are in fact connected to Wi-Fi and uh, I was incorrect earlier. The signals does have a built uh, a built-in rechargeable battery. It is currently fully charged. So uh, if I'm not using Billows, I can use this without plugging it into AC power. Billows does require an AC power connection. So if I'm using the fan, I have to have signals also plugged into power. But if I'm not using the fan, I can use the rechargeable battery in signals. 
So uh, that is about it for this unboxing video. If you guys like this, please hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. Doing that helps new viewers to find my channel. So I'll be back in a couple weeks with uh, hopefully a cooking video this time again.